After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. One of the evolutions of law enforcement is the way we deal with people in crisis. We receive extensive training, and this will help us de-escalate the situation and bring it to a safe resolution with less injury to the suspect and to the officer. Got a call to Code 5 mail, ETA about 30 seconds. Don't have much information other than uh, he's pretty, uh, pretty violent, so we're going to take a look and see what we got. All right, he's being arrested for DUI. He, uh... Didn't like that very much. Started fighting on the way to jail. Took his lighter out, started lighting the uh, seatbelt. I got about halfway burnt. He started fighting, kicking officers, kicking myself, and then was able to slip out of one of his handcuffs and I was fighting some more. Uh, let me go talk to him. How you doing? Other than being hit in the face and then slammed around, I'm fine. Do you know where you're at? Yeah, I do. Where are you at? I'm actually sitting in a jail, so. When's the last time you uh, drank or smoked some crack or anything like that? You stupid All right, uh, you're a little out of sorts here, OK? No, I had a couple of drinks, but an hour and a half. You don't got to get insulted. No, 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 no. You're talking about drink or crack, you dumbass. No, I'm going right. to tell you what. It's clear what's happening here. Uh, restraint chair, you don't want you to get that ass on me. No, back it up. I'm like, Stop resisting, sir. Under Nevada revised statute, you're required to submit to a blood sample for purpose of collecting evidence and or medical testing in relation to the charges that you've been arrested for. I refuse, and I say they cannot touch me. Just go for it. No, we're going to loosen up the right arm. No, no, no. Or the left. He's got room on the left. No, I swear to God, I will hit somebody. I just get your out of my way. Shit, stop resisting. So it's gonna be done, so why, why fight it? No! Get off of the That's it. We're good. No. So what is Paul being charged with? Paul is being charged with DUI, failure to use signal, no proof of insurance, open container and vehicle, battery on officer, and tampering or injuring a police vehicle. Uh, I'll make various contacts with him. He's really upset. Code 5 mail. He's coming in our prisoner transport van, and apparently this guy is under the influence of some type of hallucinogen. I'll talk to him and see if he'll go along with the process. He was intoxicated in the roadway, pounding signs, vehicles. Since we got him in custody, he's uh, been banging his head inside the van, kicking him repeatedly. All right, camera, let's go make uh, contact. <laughs> OK, don't kick him, OK? This is a real nice guy, Sergeant Zizek. OK, he's going to help you see the doctor. How are you doing today? When's the last time you took any pills? Ecstasy or whatever? Probably last month, so. Last month? All right. Why are you chained like that? Because you've been kicking. You've been kicking and banging. I came conscious and like, All right. Keep your feet to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. And come out of this van like a man. Uh, come on, you're doing wonderful. OK. Uh, we're going for segregation housing uh, until he calms down. OK, you're only going to be in here for a little while. It's up to your behavior, OK? I'll move. Good. OK, I'm going to go down here and talk to Paul. It's been uh, several hours. Uh, he's been segregated. And uh, I'll see where his mind's at. OK, so I have one felony. One gross misdemeanor, gross misdemeanors. So what do you think I'll probably do, like, straight time on this? Yeah, it's hard to say, you know. Are you on parole? Nope. Okay. I've been off for three years. Oh, okay. So you clean that up? 
That's good. That's a good thing. That's the first thing I've been in trouble on in over three years. That's good. These are not the crime of the century. No, oh, no, it's what? I'm looking at maybe, what, 18 months or something like that? No. No. Well, the fella not probably... here. Not here. I'm, I'm really happy to see that you've come down. I'm going to have the officer take you out, let you finish up looking. All right? You did good. OK, I, uh, I determined Paul's ready to come and uh, finish out the booking process. And he's seen the error in his ways. I think he'll be manageable. And if not, if he decides to shift the other way, we'll address it. John, sit up here. We're going to talk to you again. How you feel? I'm sober. Found out my phone's missing and one shoe, so we'll lose again. <laughs> What do you think it was that put you in that state of mind? Just like to see. How was the festival? Pretty good, aside from not knowing where I was and ending up here. Mm. When, when did you get this piercing fascination? When did that enter your life? 2008. Uh, no, wait, 2009. 2010, 10. And these were 10 before, before my ex made me take them out, basically. <laughs> gotcha. What's the fascination behind it? Body activism, it's a large manifesto. Interesting. It's change, it's like plastic surgery, but cheaper. <laughs> okay, well, when we stand up, you're gonna walk out of the cell, make a right hand turn. No, that's okay, no, we're, we're gonna, with that. we're gonna keep you out of mechanical restraints for now. Okay, just walk straight ahead. Nope, oh, oh, easy, walk straight ahead. Well, it looks like John will make it through it, so chances are he'll probably be out of here within a few hours. There's still room for error, but we'll keep a close eye on him and see that he gets through it. sharp on you, do you? No, no, they've already checked me for everything. Did you hit him with your cane? What did you hit him with? I believe I hit him with my cane, yes. Oh, yeah? Who are these people? Um, they live with you? Ingrid, no. Homeless people who were just looking for a place to sleep. And you let them into your house? I made the, I made the mistake that we've all made. But you're too nice. Yeah. So who called the police, did they? They did, yes. I believe one of them had me uh, uh, restrained. Restrained. Why the other one called the police? I don't know. I just told these guys everything. I told them the truth, because you know I, I'm here and and they're walking free. So did they rouse them out of your house at least? Um. Yes, they did. Right, which okay. you know it was almost worth it. I don't know why we just couldn't have said I'm sorry to each other and they you should have done that before you walked well, over. They could have left. And I could have been fine. Well, they weren't going to leave. So when you got to the scene, what did you guys see? We saw food, we saw blood, and we saw three drunks. So what is he charged with today? Just uh, harassment and assault for. They assaulted me, too. Pooped on my couch and assaulted me. I need a, a bus ticket to get out of here when I get out of here. Because I need to go home, I need to go to sleep. OK, here's a list of your stuff. You get it when you get I'm on a lot of medication. Do you understand that? OK, you'll be able to tell the nurse about the medication. Look at my head. Okay. Look, look what happened to me. What? I'm on a lot of medication. Shh, and, and stop talking. People, people. I'm not sure. He's prone to hit people with that. I'm not really apt to want to give it to him, to be quite honest. Well, as long as you don't I'm not going to hit anybody with it. I need the can. Have a shattered pillow. Ask him if he can get around without the can or if he needs a wheelchair. I don't want to give him the can. Well, how about we get your wheelchair instead? That way you can't pick that up and hit anybody. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take I'm just Thank pissed off at the world. I don't know if you guys understand, but... Sarge didn't want him to take the cane inside the jail because he's already assaulted somebody with it. So we got a wheelchair instead. If he tries to pick that up and hit somebody with it, he might have a little more problem right? with it. Why does someone poop on your couch? Because they're alcoholics. 
I, I, I got pissed off. What did you do? What did you do, though? How did you vent that pissed off I, I guess I hit him in the head, and then I guess I hit him with my cane. It was think, alcohol. Think maybe and... alcohol in your house don't I mix. believe, yes, yes, I okay. do. Okay. And I'm... Show a little compassion for people who get too drunk and poop on your couch. No. You know, don't twice. come to my house, and that'll be easier. OK, why don't you head back there and have I'm, a seat. Well, roll your seat back which, there with the other Which way do guys. I go? Straight ahead. I thought my ex-wife was bad at me before, but now I'm going to be really in trouble. That's a new one. You can't make that stuff up. Nobody's going to believe this. This is just one of those days. Uh, All right, bro. OK, Curtis, here's your property. OK. Here's your release agreement. OK. You know what, what they poop on your couch or something? Here I am trying to be a nice guy. Sure. Letting somebody who's on the streets come in sure. for a night and, you know, watch some TV because I get television and... And that started the whole fiasco. Eats my food, dirties my dishes, fills up the sink full of dishes. Now I have no food. I have dirty dishes. And I have poop on things that now I have to wash. So yeah, it's been, it's been fun, but at least they're gone. You guys have a good night. Hopefully when you get to court, you can get it all worked out, OK? I'm sure there shouldn't be an issue. During my 12 years here as a corrections officer, uh, I've been a taser instructor. I've been a part of the corrections response team, uh, booking officer, uh, among other things in the jail. And at the end of every day, I'm actually proud of what I do. The story I got is he likes to fight. He was fighting last night today. No, I don't. So hold on. Fight, hold on. And a city assault on DB. Okay. So I warned him to come in here and fight with our guys because we'll okay. lose. Okay. And he says he does drink okay. um, a lot. Okay. When he wakes up, he drinks, and he lives out on the streets. Okay. Correct? I live, yeah, under Monroe. Under yeah, the bridge? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't, okay. They, I don't like to fight. Dude. That was one of the first times that I've ever even actually <laughs> stood up for myself. Okay. And I don't even remember. So there's more to the story. All right. I don't remember, dude. And I lost my guitar. I don't remember. This is kind of weird for me. You've never been to jail? No, no. Like, I've never been in trouble. I've never been in jail. I have no, no way. Like, I, I mean... You think you think the drinking might have something to do with that today? Well, yeah, dude. Maybe. I don't even remember. Like, I'm telling you, dude, I don't remember. And, and that was like a half an hour ago? It was about an hour ago, I think. And you don't remember why you were dude, fighting? I don't remember. Dude, and, and the thing is, I lost my guitar. I don't even know that my guitar even exists. <laughs> What did you drink today? Well, I started off at 7.30 with an MD. So you can remember clear back to 7.30 this morning, but you can't remember I back to what you thought that, about? Really. Dude, I wish, I wish. Maybe when you sober up a little bit, you'll start to remember. Keep your back against the wall. When you come off the wall, you start to make me nervous. Sorry about that, buddy. Turn and face that wall, spread your feet for me. You might want to start thinking about maybe not drinking so much at 7.30 in the morning. So you don't get into these predicaments. Yeah, I definitely am going to avoid these. I'm sorry about this, guys. That's pretty much my thing. I just drink a lot. OK, come in this way. OK. Marshal. Uh -huh. I've never been here before. <laughs> Are you here on a city assault charge? Tell me how you got in contact with Marshall tonight. I got a call of the in the downtown district. There was a, a fight in progress, uh, roll in, and Security at the mall points him out, and he, he's walking down the street crying. Uh, contact him, contact the victim, and uh, security also. And security says that he was, before we arrived, was trying to fight everybody in the downtown there. And so, so just a random guy he hit? Yeah. Huh. Walking down the street. Well, we'll take care of him now. <laughs> Marshall's been in a holding cell for a while. Sobering up, so I'm going to go ahead and check on him. Hey, Marshal, just stay seated. So, are you feeling a little bit better since you first came in? Up this. Sobering up a little bit? Up this, yeah. Okay, so you're just using I, the alcohol to medicate? Is that what you're doing? Well, well if you want to know. I, I do. Um, well, I get panic attacks, like, really bad. Um, mm -hmm. I, like, 
and hours and hours of panic attacks. So I decided to medicate myself um, because alcohol affects the same part of the brain that anti-anxiety medication does, and it completely keeps me away from that. From what I heard, that you were you were panhandling out there. No, I wasn't panhandling. Yeah, yeah. I was playing my guitar. I wasn't asking for money. And, and when someone said no, you hit them. No. Like, random, no. random person. That didn't happen? Wow. No, that was not even close. Is that what they... That's what's no. right. That's, no, that's wow. right. Wow. No, that is no. Dude, I don't, I'm not violent initially. Okay. No, I don't know what he said, but he said something that really pissed me off. Yeah. It, dude, I'm not going to get mad at somebody for not giving me money. That's ridiculous. Okay. Like, I get plenty of money playing guitar. Like, that's a very big gig for me. Now I don't have a guitar, though, so... Right. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. This is your first time in jail, yeah. you know, and if you don't get a control of this problem, I, I am afraid that I'm going to see you more often. Yeah, and I'm you don't not, want I'm that. I don't want to do that. You don't want that. No, no, no. I don't want that whatsoever. All right, Marshall, come with me. <clears throat> Come straight down here. And we're gonna take a ride. Getting released, all right? You have a pretrial set, okay? If you don't show up to that, a warrant for your arrest is gonna go out, okay? So make sure you show up for that. Okay. We had these clothes washed cool. for you. I'll meet you at the other door. Oh. All right, Marshal, going straight out this way. And uh, good luck to you, okay? Hey, thank you. All right. All right, and go get go get some help. Yeah, I will. All right. I talked to him about resources that he can go find to try to fix his problem, try to help him, so we don't have to see him again. Here at the Sheriff's Office, we're considered a big family. That is very true for me. I have multiple family members who work here also. My mother and also my wife, who I met here and married. Um, so we really do take that very personal, along with my other co-workers who are considered brothers and sisters of mine. So he was brought in today. What he came on on? Oh, uh, aggravated assault. Aggravated assault, what happened? Okay. Well, he went over to the bar and uh, tried going in. They didn't want him in. Uh, he was carrying a rifle case. Oh, wow. Made some threatening statements to the bouncer at the bar and basically threatened to take his life. And it's a gay bar and still a little concerned about, uh, you know, maybe having a hate crime happen. And so okay. they were a bit freaked out about yeah. it. So well, we'll take good care of him here. Go and face that blue man right there. Separate your feet, Donald. You got anything sharp on you? My tongue Again? and my wit. Other than that? No. No needles, knives, syringes? Toenails. Toenails? Spider-Man. OK. Feeling suicidal or homicidal? No, why are you? Nope. Good. We have that in common. Let's go from there. Do you have a fork in your back pocket for? I eat once in a while. How about you? OK, just relax. You better be gentle with my family jewels, or I'm going to kind of offload your teeth. That's not a threat. Donald, why are you so upset, man? That's Let's a promise. The be gentle with my trust, man. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to get in the middle of yours in a second. That's a promise. OK. Just relax. I don't like being harassed, illegally arrested, and then manhandled at the mat. No one's manhandling you. Game over. I want to speak to my attorney. Oh, why are you so upset, man? I'm not upset. You seem upset. I'm not upset. I love you. Hey, Donald. Yes, sir. You need to settle down. It seems like you're getting a little bit agitated, OK? Yeah, I'm just helping out. Uh, I'm settling like down. I'm no, settling no, down at the moment. Do me a favor and settle down, OK? Breathe in, breathe out. Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. you can. I'll break this one. Hey, all we're trying to do is do our job. Right? You want to get things done in a safe manner? You're doing. You're trying to torch me and get me to react. I ain't I'm going for it. No, you're doing a good job. You cannot, if you provoke me to do something wrong. You're doing exactly what you're doing. It's impossible if you provoke me to do something wrong. Okay, good. It's impossible for you to. Okay. So quit attempting it. Ow! OK, duck your head again. Quack, quack. Lift the shirt up. Where's Mickey? Walk him in backwards. All right, Donald, you know all this works, OK? You've been here through this before. OK, we're going to back out of this cell. When we do, you're going to bend out your knees through that cuff force so we can get these cuffs off. Do you understand? Got it. Fantastic. OK, going back up to the door, bend at your knees. Stick your arms out as much as you can. Go ahead, Donald. 
A little bit more. Bend at the knees. Okay, Dom, okay. put your arms in. Uh, he's come in a few times. Uh, every time he comes in, he's a little agitated for the safety of the other prisoners. We're going to go and put him in the P cell uh, just for the fact that he's a little bit upset right now. He won't do too well with the others at this time. When he calms down, he'll be uh, downgraded to a different cell than with the rest of the population. I spent four years in the Marine Corps Infantry. Having prior military experience really helps this job become an easy transition. You learn discipline, you learn teamwork, camaraderie, and you're all family, you watch each other's back, make sure everybody goes home at night safely. I'll come back and talk to you, okay? You want to talk to an attorney? Once you sobered up, we'll get you out of here, okay? I am sober. I'm not gonna argue with you, okay? Sober up and we'll get you out of that cell. All right. Okay, let's walk over here. What am I charged with you? I don't know what your charges are. I haven't even looked at it. You said you were doing a little bit of meth today, right? We're gonna walk this way. Okay, we're gonna put you in the cell and then you're gonna go talk to pre-trial. We got prisoner Jones up here getting ready to search him. Looks like my officers are running over to D2. We got something going on. Hey, Jones. Hey, Jones. Hey, Jones. Hey, Jones. Come on your back. Come on. Give us your hands. Give us your hands. Come on, man. Put your hands on your back now. Give us your hands. I got it. Come on, man. Am I dead? Sir, am I dead? Put him in H5. Just tell me now. Just relax. Please, just tell me now I'm dead. Don't be on the back. Go. Tuck your knees. Down. Put your head down. Put your head down. Backwards. Put it down. Come on, man. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Quit resisting. Quit resisting. Come on, man. Got it. Can we have some answers here? Can we have some answers here, please? Quit. Stop I'm not resisting. I got it. I got it. Come on, man. Can I have some answers, please? Push your head in the corner. Come on, man. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Yes. Can you get the guy in D2 figure out what's wrong with him? check about the Okay. Don't resist. Come on, man. Please. Stay in there. Stay in the corner. Please. Stay in the corner. You okay? Did you fall or anything? You yes, had this terrible me. bastard that attacked me. He was joking me. Oh, I did this out a little bit too much to drink today. And you guys put me in this terrible, nasty place and put me in with some insane person. What was your deal tonight? Mm -hmm. You got to calm down so we can get you booked in and get you down to a bed or get you released, whatever's going to happen with you. That's going to be based on your behavior. All right, Cody, we'll come talk to you later, all right? Cody was just involved assaulting another prisoner, had him in a chokehold at the door. They were in our drunk tank. I responded over there with my other officers, and I was able to grab hold of him, take him down to the ground, and uh, move him to a padded cell for his safety and our safety so we could find out what's going on, drugs, mental health issues, whatever the case may be. What do you want to know, Cody? <laughs> well, you're put in the cell because of your actions over here are getting D2. Were you doing drugs earlier today? Did I do something today? Yeah. Yes. What kind of drugs were you taking? Meds? No, med. Meth? How long ago? This morning. This morning? Are you still feeling the effects of it pretty good? Well, I wasn't until I got my tongue going. Okay. We're going to have the nurses come by. We're going to check you out. How are you feeling? Are you sore or anything? You okay? All right. Okay, put your back right here. Your back, right here. My back? Come here. Right there. Although he's been compliant thus far, 
Uh, his behavior is still a little bit bizarre because of some of the drugs in the system. He's just been charged with a warrant. Uh, he could possibly bail or bond out, but it still doesn't mean that he won't be held accountable for his actions earlier today. We'll have the report screened by our jail investigator to determine whether charges will actually be filed. You gotta drink it all right here. You can't take it inside with you, okay? There you go. What's in it? I mean, what's gonna be going on? Am I gonna be able to get out of here or what? Drink it. Okay. Let's do the checks and then we'll take care of that later, okay? Cody has actually been pretty compliant with a couple of the nurse checks and with our instructions. So we're going to keep him separate for a little bit, and then we're going to eventually get him walked through the booking process. I think the unique thing about working graveyard is the fact that the clientele is quite different. It's a lot of uh, the night folks where they're out and usually commit crimes. So people come in, they're mostly uh, not very cooperative, which makes our job a little bit more challenging. Right over here. <laughs> you know. Hi. How you doing? Welcome. Thanks. Problem. Anything sharp on you? Gonna stick me? Poke me any drugs? No, I don't. Sorry. Okay, diabetic? I'm not. Can I get one of those paper towels wiping my face off? When we're done. Okay. Is that sweat or rain? My little balls. Yeah. Yeah. They had me sitting in a puddle. I was asking if I could stand up. They wouldn't let me, though. Oh. Hastings is a real, he's a hard one. You know, he slammed my face up against the car, told me to off with my shirt, that kind of stuff, you know, but he really likes what his job. What did you do? So. Nothing, I was just standing on the corner. Just mind your own business, but... No, they said I was uh, resisting, or I don't know what he said I was doing, disorderly conduct, some BS, I don't know. When I take the cuffs off, put your hands up on the counter. I will do. Look at that. No. Put your hand on the counter. <laughs> What's the problem, man? Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, you're not doing as you're told. Oh, now no, put no. your hands on the counter. I heard you. Now, bend down, take your shoes off, put your shoes on the counter. Now, hands on the counter, step back, spread your legs. Can I get a Step phone call or ask Put your I'm hand right? on the counter. Jesus, come on. Well, come on. Okay. We don't deal with everybody that's sweet and nice, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Anything good in there? See that silliness coming out of your mouth? Get you into hot water. Was there anything good in there? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Could you tell us your version, officer? <clears throat> we got calls about a drunk male. People thought we was drunk. And uh, when I got there, he was marching around in circles on the sidewalk, uh, barking, grunting. He apparently noticed who we were and then became uncooperative, much like we've seen here. It's just funny, man. What are you doing now? I need that phone, though, to make a phone call to my lawyer. I can't call somebody? Yeah, you can. There's oh, a phone okay. the Yeah, I need my phone to get the number. Is that right? Or... Not now, because he already took the letter yet. What do you mean? I can't get the phone number to call somebody? No. Not now. You don't get to make a phone call and you get arrested? You do. We're done. Let's go. Yeah. Well, is that not a question I can Let's ask? Well, go. you're just not that listening way. to the answers. Let's go. Is that his coat? Oh, that is my coat. coat. On the ground. I heard and you. Head that way. Asking the then question. move. Now go that way. Passive aggressive nature. That's my thing. Is. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those, like, oh, come on. I don't want to. I'm not causing a problem, but everything coming out of your mouth is. OK, whatever. It is. It is. I'm sorry. So let me ask you this. What? Are you a good student in school? I am pretty you good. You are? I am, yeah. How? What do you mean? Well, if the teacher gave you an assignment, I could just see you saying, what the hell is this for? What are we doing with this? Well, usually Why do I have to answer there, this you know? question? Come on, Paul. OK, Joe, this is very important. Okay. You can be out of jail in a matter of probably three hours. OK. Or if you become a problem, we have these side rooms that you go into. Scary looking. And you'll be in there a minimum of eight more hours. Eight more hours on top of the three? Right. All right, I don't want to do that. OK, so no more silly phone. questions. Like, no more I, I need to call to my, my attorney. Lawyer. I can't ask for that. I'm no, that's, ask that's, that's silly stuff. That is? OK. Because there's a phone around the corner. You can use it. You can call whoever you want. Who's that guy? Hey. Joe. I'm sorry. Can I ask one more question? One more. It's the last one, I promise. This better not be about your attorney. Okay, 
Okay. <laughs> it wasn't gonna be, uh, sorry, dude. I gotcha. <laughs> okay, we'll have a seat. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll be back. Thanks, man. Over now. Hey, Joe. Watch your step. This is uh, wet. wet. And you have no shoelaces. Awesome. I'm very impressed that you made it. To what? You, did, you, didn't, you didn't go oh, into a little side room. Man. Come on. Everybody's different, you know what I mean? How did you do a job here, man? You're the nicest one that works here. You're just lucky, I guess. Yeah, I'm just living right. <laughs> on the right side of your team. That's where we see our combines, or? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. All right, Joe. Good so luck. I'm giving you a hard time. Hey, try stand-up comedian. You're good stand-up. So you had a good sense of humor, huh? I guess. Yeah, I try to. Well, Joe seemed to uh, talk his way into jail. Joe just does not know when to stop talking, and that seems to be what his problem is. That's what got him here, and that's what most likely will get him back. Every stinking test. This guy just got arrested for a DUI. He doesn't seem very happy right now. He's kind of yelling at the officer. He arrested him. Come up here. I have the worst luck of anybody in the world. So what do you got here? Stopped him for a seatbelt and an open container. And he did not pass my field sobriety exercises. Uh, how has he been acting? A little erratic, slightly paranoid. Are you going to do the breath test, or are you going to have him do it? Our time together has been too entertaining, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the buck. Excellent. Now, was anybody injured or anything like that? No. You caught the observations of him swerving or doing something silly? Uh, he road. drove past where I was sitting with no seatbelt on, and I stopped him about 60 feet later. OK, so you, you saw him. Yeah, it like a swig of his beer. <laughs> So you, you saw him with the no seat belt, so that was your probable cause for the arrest. You know what's the cost of drunk driving? Sir, you know, just, just, I've heard about it. OK, sir. It looks like you guys went out and caught somebody and pinned a drunk driver now. That's a lie. Who went court, brother? If I wasn't wearing a seat belt, why didn't you give me a ticket for not wearing a seat, uh, wearing a seat belt? I did. It's sitting up there. What a liar. I'll just keep blowing until I tell you stop. Go, 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 keep going, 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 keep going. That machine is fixed. I'm not drunk, so I know that, and that's that's what I know for a fact. Your breath test results are 0.09 and 0.10. Under 0.08 is the legal limit in the state of Florida. So I'm one point over, right? Well, that's a given right there. That's a given. The machine's going to do that. That's a given, brother. Come on out this way. You guys got a record of my past? No I, felonies, I no, no nothing. There's nothing on my record, nothing. Step happened. back over to the He's going to take care of you, OK? Yeah. I'm sorry I'm yelling. I'm just pissed. So this is uh, the copy for a seatbelt ticket and the for your probable container. cause and the open container? Yep. The only thing I'm going to admit to is the open container, because my friend just gave it to me. I didn't even take but one drink out of it. Uh, well, I will admit to that. The rest is false, totally So false. you were brought in here under the charge of DUI. But he didn't and... pull me over for DUI. No. He had probable cause to pull he you over. He said I didn't have my license, my, my, my uh, 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 seatbelt on, but I did. A girl I know ripped me off two or three weeks ago. I called her probation officer. She's nothing but a drughead, crackhead, thieving woman. And I told him, check her now. She's full of drugs. And her parents are millionaires. millionaires. OK, sir, so well, what's that got to do with you? She, she threat called me, threatened me. I'm going to get you pulled over, and they're going to find a beer in your car. Well, that's exactly what's happening right now, two weeks later, right? OK. She's bought the goddamn probation officer. Who put that alcohol there? My friend. Your friend. Yeah. Who was drinking that alcohol? I drank one drink of it. OK, so you admit to drinking at least one drink of it. The intoxilizer said that you're over the legal limit. I'm telling you, he pulled me over because he set up to pull me over. OK. But that's why. One sip of alcohol. That's why. And you're telling me that allowed you to be intoxicated enough 
to, to blow over. I wasn't pulled over for anything I did wrong driving. No. Nothing. Zero. And all the tests that you guys do Don't on the street, with me. Don't I get pass angry every with me. one of them with flying colors. Every one of them. Deputy Kasman, did you see any indicators that this gentleman was under the influence of alcohol or drugs? I would think that would be readily apparent by our presence in booking. So you're saying yes, you did. You guys want to do it? Do it oh, to me now. Sit down. Do sit that down. test to me sit, now. Sit down. I'll do it with handcuffs, man. So you're I'll saying do it better than he would? Hold on. It was all planned and fixed. All right. Okay, we're stepping right into this door here. You're going to go to your left, to your left, because you're being charged with the DUI. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to stay in our facility for a period of no less than eight hours. I, I want you to have a seat right I here. I got to be here for eight hours. I don't understand that part. You don't understand that part. Oh, that right there, sir, all it is is to ensure that you are sober before you leave. I was sober when I got pulled over. Why is it that everybody else around you is lying except they're for lying, you? They're lying. Because I passed all them tests. I passed them off. You were driving without a seatbelt. That's a lie. I'll fight that to the end. All right, Robert. You're going to step over there, and Deputy Shea's going to take your picture. Step right over there, sir. Look right here at this camera. He was a little bit agitated during the processing. But if he continues to behave himself, then you know, we'll allow them to stay out there and be able to utilize the phones and try and contact somebody to arrange bond or bail for them. We've been notified by control that we have a code 5 male and female coming in. Evidently, it's a related incident, so we're going to see if we can get them to possibly just walk in. That guy that stole my bike, I want to hit him. Can we bring her in first? Yeah. Guys, I'm really in. I know. Can I see my bike? Did Adams come out? Yeah, he knows where OK. That's my bike. Turn around and go that way. Is that my bike? Hey, Vegas, turn around and go that way. I responded to a possible robbery event. Uh, when I made contact with the victim, she was highly agitated, agitated, exhibited signs of being under the influence of a central nervous system stimulant. She freely admitted that she was attempting to sell prescription medication to, uh, to have money to buy alcohol. The subject she initially made contact with took her bike and drove off. Oh. She called and said she was a robbery victim, then proceeded to incriminate herself in a whole nother crime. You're a robbery victim within a drug deal? Correct. OK. A drug deal right. gone bad. What are you charging Lori with? Uh, she's getting charged with possession of dangerous drugs without a prescription mm -hmm. and possession of controlled substance with intent to sell. All right. I didn't think that was illegal. If I knew it was illegal, you know. Well, you know now, right? Yeah. OK, no. But is, is it you like big time trouble or something? I believe it is a felony. So you will have to talk to pretrial services later in the morning. You know, I had some pills in my pocket because I was going to my friends on Fremont. And uh, I had my bike. I didn't have the lid for the, for the antacid bottle that I had them in. So they fell out. And um, uh, the dude was taking my bike. And I said, hey, man, I got pills. I got, you know, I, I, you know, come on, man, I'll give you a pill. Just buy me a beer or something, because that's really all I was after. He goes, well, this dope dealer over here, he owes me some money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got to go over there and get it. And it seemed kind of shady, because we'll, we'll get to the window. The window opened, and uh, So you didn't go to the front door? You went to a no, window? No, yeah. And I was, like, standing off to the side going, this, this don't look right. And I could hear him through the window going, hey, take her bike, take her bike, take whatever she's got. So I started to back up and started to go back the other way, say, hey, I got to go. And he started going spastic on me. And then he started taking off with my bike. And I said, hey, man, I got Xanax. I got whatever, you know, just, just give me back my bike. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to sell drugs. I mean, okay. I'd give him a Xanax bar because he okay. look, at, look at him. He was like this, doing all this. When you want to give somebody like that some help, sometimes I'm easily swayed and I'm too nice to people that okay. I know are no good. But he had So my what have bike. you learned? What have you learned tonight? Well, not to ever trade your 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 medication for 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 a drink. But I was like nervous. The guy was wanting to slap me down and stuff. He was a, a crazy maniac. Mm -hmm. And he's got your bike. You're willing to give up anything. Right. I wasn't wanting to give up my body, but 
uphill. But you, you did kind of put yourself in that position, right? Where yeah. you were around this guy, where he was able to have the opportunity to take your bike. I think you're hanging out in places that are too dangerous. I just stay home. Yeah, stay home or find a different place to go. Okay. Okay. And leave my medication home. Leave your medication at home. All right. Go sit down. Trading, giving, selling, it's one big blur. We'll get her through with her booking photo and get her fingerprinted, get her to the other side. So she's having her breakfast now. She doesn't seem too worried about being here. It's just hard when you live in Vegas to do without, you know what I mean? Somehow you just want to, you know, have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Doesn't work out that way. <laughs> During my career as a corrections officer, I've seen some pretty strange things. I've seen prisoners bite their fingers off. I've seen some pretty outlandish fights that have sent prisoners to the hospital. You never know what your day is going to be like in this career until you get to work. Use drugs? I do not use drugs. Me, you drugs? Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm on drugs? Sounds like one of our female prisoners is getting rowdy with some of the other prisoners on the bench. We'll go see what's going on. I don't want to go. So let's get done here first. I'm gonna, okay, well, okay, well, hold on until we get done. This is what happens when okay, you're Okay, pay attention girl. to what I'm saying, OK, Danielle? Yeah. Settle down, Danielle. We'll okay. get you to a restroom. Yeah, I have to pee. Have you been drinking in the last 24 hours, Danielle? Yes, I have. OK, what have you drunk? Like a pint of whiskey. Big okay. deal. What are you here for, Danielle? Public in talks. Okay. Drinking on my own front lawn. Okay, why don't you take off the rest of your rings and your watch? This one's gonna be tricky. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Mm. It's almost there. Oh, there it is. Okay, All and right. then you have a couple piercings in your Yep, face. I have an eyebrow. Yep, get them. Uh, There's a booger's hanging on it. I don't know. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I can't. OK. Well, I have gloves, so. You want the sprayer? Yeah, I think so. There you go. Oh. They gone? You know what? Let's just leave it. You know what? I've got it, though. You got it? Yeah. Oh, OK. My fingernails did the trick better oh, than the spreaders. Okay. There we go. All right. Good. Take that one out. I'd rather you do it. You're not the first one that's had to do this. That's what you get for having all those piercings, huh? No, that's what you get for being drunk in public. Be humiliated. OK, now, turn around. Put your back on the mat. OK, take your pinkies, put them in your mouth, hook them out. Daniel, pinkies. There you go. We're going to go up, down, down. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Danielle, open your mouth. Lift up your tongue. Okay. All right. Okay. Come with me. Okay. All right, Danielle, go in there and take a nap, all right? All right. See you in a few hours. We're going to leave Danielle in the P cell for uh, a few hours at least. She is very intoxicated. She calmed down a lot from when she was out on the bench. I think she'll be all right in a few hours. So we're going to check on Danielle, see if she's sobered up here. Danielle. Danielle. Come here. We got to have the nurses check you real quick, OK? Do I look better after every hour? Danielle, are you still drinking or using drugs tonight? Drinking? 
Okay, do you drink all the time or just on occasion? Oh, all the time. Do you have problems when you don't drink? Yep. What happens? <laughs> okay, calm down. Okay. Can you drink it first? Yeah. Um, what's here? They're blue. Blue. Uh, can I pick? No. no. Blue is what you oh. Okay, drink as much as you can right Blue's now. We can't let you all right, come on, hurry, Daniel. You got to drink it right now. Oh, I have to drink it in front of you? I yeah, can't take yeah. it in and sit down yeah. and oh. relax? No, it's oh. off, so let's go. Here we go. Yeah. All right, Daniel. Excellent. Awesome. How was that? All right, go ahead and go to sleep. Uh. Daniel, go in there. She's still way too drunk to come out. I'm sure a couple hours of rest, a few more Gatorades, she'll be like a totally different person. We'll be able to get her through the process, hopefully get her released. We can have several things that are jumping off at one time down here in booking, but that's what we go through training for. That's pretty much when it kicks in. Main job is to keep everybody safe and to get everyone processed through. Listen up. All right, I'm going to take the handcuffs off. Put your hands up on the wall, OK? So how did the cops even come in contact? On trumped up charges. What kind of trumped up charges? The misuse of 911. I already sat in here. Keep your hands up there. Now. Keep your hands up there. I already sat in here for it. So what'd you do tonight? Was it a warrant or what? That's what they said. So what happened to your face? Me and my cousin got into a fight. Got in a fight at the house? Well, have a medical look at that. They already did. Our medical. Don't media. touch it. I'm not touching okay. it. Go around, go around this third aisle. Here, turn around. Go see medical. No, I don't want to see medical. Oh, you, you got to see medical. No, just, just don't be in your dungeon. Okay. Our dungeon's broke tonight. Walk down that way. Go see medical. No, I refuse. I refuse. Well, we, OK, we got to ask you a question then. All right. Do you want to hurt yourself? Yes, I do. Oh, come on over here. No, 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 no. I will do yeah, it. See. I hurt myself. Well, I'm, I'm not going to let you myself. hurt yourself. We gotta get I the, will. We got to get the camera. Oh, All give right. me a break. What, are you going to pull your teeth out? Yes. Right. Let's bring him over here. here. Bring him in there. Yes. Here. Go. We're gonna, the cuffs. We'll use my cuffs. You don't want to hurt yourself. Yes, I do. Oh, so we have a guy who's just uh, acting the fool. He, uh, he's saying he wants to hurt himself now, and he's uh, you know, trying to bite his fingers. Why are you doing this? Because I want to. Don't get off. I like to. I like you. I want to. Oh, watch, watch, don't you? Face forward. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Stop no. resisting, and we won't have to do this by force. All right, come on, have a seat. Chuck your hands down. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do that. All right. Now, sometimes you got to uh, got to protect these people from themselves. Unfortunately, it sounds like he's got some sort of a mental crisis going on. Cops are idiots. They're idiots. Show me that you can be quiet for 20 minutes, and I'll come get you. Yeah, I got a loss. All right. Separate your feet. She was booked in as a Jane Doe. I'm not Jane Doe. My name is Sherelle. If you would have ran my car, okay. you dummy. So I'm not Jane Doe. Check all that we'll, dumb we'll ass. The name. Shut up. Thank you. All right, let's take our medical. Hurry up. I'm ready to lay down. You dummy. Come on, my car couldn't register. I wish I would have known that while I was riding around with no ID. My blood pressure up right now, dummy. Run my car, you dummy. <laughs> He said, I can't find you. Sorry. You ain't gonna never find me. That's why I'm carrying your ID. And you see my wallet? It had nothing in there, huh? Stupid. Have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll talk to you in a little bit. A uh, citizen flagged me down, so there were some children in a vehicle, and uh, I went and checked on a, there was like a blue Nissan sitting in the parking lot with the windows partially down. I looked in the back seat, and then, sure enough, there's a little baby sitting in an infant seat in the back, and then there's an eight-year-old child just sitting there crying. He said his mom went in to get some CDs. You know, I, I, it How hot is it outside it right now? It, I had dispatch check, and it was 95 degrees outside. It was over 20 minutes, and she just left these kids in the car. So just two counts of child endangerment. 
Anthony, we gotta take you out of the chair. Are you gonna yeah. scream and yell? No. You gotta calm down, man, because if you don't calm down, we can't take you out of the chair. All right. We're gonna take you out. You need to be nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, I know. I'm beautiful. All right. We're gonna take you out and let you go lay down in there, okay? Oh, beautiful. That works? Oh, right. yeah, that works fine. Here, stand up. All right, step on in. We'll come wake you up for breakfast. You calm now? Yes, ma'am. This is good. The babies are okay? Yeah. They all right. They so. not all right, because mama right here. I mean, they daddy got them. They oh, right. so yeah, they, they did have somebody right pick there. them up. Yeah, all that. So you got to realize it's hot out there. We in triple digits, even at nighttime. So people going to be watching. You, you can't know just what? Leave them. It yeah. was cool to me. Yeah. But probably, you know. Lesson learned, hey, point you know. taken. We, you know, lesson learned, though, right? Exactly. Hey, just stay calm the way you have been. Yes, ma'am. OK. Y'all heard that, right? Yeah. OK. She seems to be OK. A good thing somebody, a good citizen, was able to point out those children were in a car, because this is Vegas, and it gets extremely hot. The sun goes down, but the heat does not go away. So what'd you do tonight? Me and my cousin got into a little fight. Metro pulled up on us. Mm -hmm. They were in both of us. He didn't come to jail, no. just you. Yeah, he, he's in jail, too. Oh, he's yeah. here, too. I'm going to talk to a lawyer. It's not the guy that arrested you, fault. When they come and stop you on the street, if you show an active warrant, he's got to bring you to jail. But they, but it should, well, but it should I not be. I was here. I understand that. I did, I did my time here. I understand that. Just go through the process like everybody else, and you'll be out of here probably by this afternoon. All right? Take a nap. We'll wake All you up right. for breakfast. He had an active warrant, so they brought him to jail. And uh, he's not too happy about that, apparently. So um, what could have been a nice, easy stay in jail turned into well, the mess that we had tonight. I see uncooperative people every time I come to work. The vast majority of people go, man, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And then nine times out of 10, I'll see them up in the housing units later, and then they'll start telling me other pieces of their story. And I'm like, well, you didn't tell me that when you were on the booking counter. And then um, there's a moment of clarity for both usually me and the inmate as well. What brings you in today? Uh, warrant. Warrant? What was the warrant for? Felony for heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine distribution. So how'd they catch you? Were you doing something in an area you weren't supposed to be in, or what? Uh, I don't know. I guess so. We got some pills here. What are those pills? Uh, I'm not sure. My girlfriend gave them to me. Uh, I'm not sure what they are for that's, sure. That's quite the girlfriend. So she just gave you a big little bundle of pills. You no, know, I'm supposed to be taking them to her, to my girlfriend. Mm, so where'd you get them from? From another person that gave them to me. But you don't know what they are. No, I do not know what they are. So why do you have all those little baggies? I do do jewelry, yes. Yeah, what do you do, like earrings? Beads. Beads? Necklaces. Exactly. Does he have any jewelry with him today over there? Or just, no, I don't, just but I usually bags? do. I usually do have jewelry with me. Six, seven jewelry bags, and not a bead to speak of. Not a Swarovski crystal, nowhere. Nothing. All right, grab your gear. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat in front of the TV? What was the name of the pills again? These are Suboxone or Buprenorphine. That's a Schedule Three narcotic, synthetic opiate. Those pills are used for people coming off of methadone or opiate withdrawals. Correct. Yeah, and it's also, you know, users that aren't using it under the care of a physician. If it's got a street value, I'm not exactly sure how much, but enough of these can get get a high. It's like he had everything he needs to go ahead and petition them out a little bit and make maybe make a couple of dollars Absolutely. off of it. Not good. All righty. So quick question. Does your girlfriend use heroin or methadone? Yeah, she, she has a prescription for buprenorphine. For, 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 um, you, for those pills? Yes, yes. But you didn't say you knew what they were a little while ago. I, do, I didn't, but, when you, but I overheard the lady talking, and then I remember, recall that she has a prescription for those pills. So she has a prescription. So why are you bringing her those pills? Because I, had them, I, had, I accidentally had them on me. At the time. I accidentally had them on me at the time. Didn't you say somebody gave you those pills to give no, to her? Nobody gave them to me to give to her. I oh, so you weren't telling I, me the truth back then? I was at, well, I was, no, I, 
I had them on me by, by accident. I How do you them. accidentally have pills well, I had, I had in a bag in your bag. inner pocket? How do you accidentally well, do I, that? Well, I didn't. I forgot. Okay, let me help you out. She was she like wearing a, your jacket at one point? She yeah, actually she put was, them in there? She oh, was there wearing them at one time. We both had the same jacket. Oh, the same color, we have, we have, the same size we jacket. We have two pairs. We have black ones uh, and green ones. And you took her jacket on accident, and that's why those were there. No, I don't know. I don't know about that. And so the drugs just happened to be in the jewelry bags, and there were extra jewelry bags with you. You, right? They're her pills, man. Okay, gotcha. Honestly. All right. You're, you're okay. Nervous. I'm gonna come back and touch base with you in a little bit. You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous. I'm about ready to cry. I'm about ready to cry. Huh? You're about ready to cry. We don't yeah. want that, do we? Yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna give you some time to compose yourself, and then I'll be back and talk to you in a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, officer. Just curious if you're gonna wind up charging him for an introduction or uh, possession. At this point, what I'm gonna be doing is taking it with me putting in my property and letting the arresting officers know they're with our drug and vice division. Let them know if they want to add charges, or maybe a DA will look at this and issue charges. Yeah, right. So I'm just going to book, book this into property and let them decide later. Gotcha. So remember when um, I was talking to you earlier, I said I wasn't sure what the officer was going to wind up doing with those pills that were found? This way over here, partner. Well, stop there. Well, he was only the transport officer. So he's going to write a quick report and send it to the arresting officers and leave that up to their discretion and find out what they want to do with it. So you'll know probably the next day or so if they're going to charge him. But man, you got to make better choices. And hopefully we won't be seeing you in here anytime soon. Okay, I hope. He just brought in a uh, subject that seems to be pretty intoxicated. What's going on, man? What do we got? Uh, we have somebody who was upset at somebody and threw some chicken at him and some <laughs> beef patties. <laughs> chicken and beef, huh? Yes. And he ended up picking up a two by four with nails on it, and swung it at a lady, and hit her in the hand. All right, so you guys are hitting with battery or aggravated, aggravated battery? Aggravated aggravated battery. Trespass. Yes. Any trespass? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we'll get him out and get him processed and get him inside. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you again. What's going on? I knocked on her beauty salon door. Someone came to the door. I said, I have some stuff I, I would like to offer you for a small donation. JJ Casey went and got a sword. A sword? A giant, a giant swamp of samurai warrior sword. It was a samurai sword? Yeah. Holy cow. Was she swinging it at you? She didn't swing it. Oh, okay. Who was swinging it then? Nobody? Listen, listen, you want to play jokes with me? I'm not playing jokes. I'm trying to figure out what's going on I'm with I'm telling you, you won't listen. I am listening. You know, I was upset. Okay, you know. Then she went and grabbed the samurai sword. I did not lift a finger, one hand at them. Okay. All right, well, we're going to get your process in here, all right? You going to cooperate with us or what? I hope it's a due process of, of the law and a right. double jeopardy, bro. Okay, come on. You don't risk Step it, on bro. out here for me. And I have a right to dignity in the process of photosynthesis. Okay, relax, relax, relax. And I, I'm not, I didn't lay the finger to hit that lady. You go ahead and start removing all your jewelry, all right? This stuff won't come off, man. What, you going to cut my damn hands off? How many earrings do you have? I don't know. I went and I put this, picked this stuff off the side of the road. You pick stuff off the and side I, of the road. I, try, and put to, it I here? try to make jewelry out of it. And it, it's only it's only a, a, an ambition. It's only an, an, an ambitious pursuit. I'm trying to make a couple of dollars. We're gonna step right over here where it says inmate shower, all right? We're gonna yeah, go ahead and change it out. Yes, 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 yes. All the stuff that was in his pockets. He had rocks in his pockets? No, I don't want that. He didn't want to throw the rocks, but he wanted no. to throw the chicken. Yeah, he oh, wants yeah. to keep all these things. Okay, we'll put it in this property. So what, what was his deal? Like, why would, do you know why he was selling chicken or what? He Black wanted to buy drugs. He was, he was trying to sell chicken to, to buy drugs. Get, yeah, they didn't want to buy it, so he decided to throw it on the curb in front of this business and inside their business. Wonderful. Where'd the, uh, the two-by-four come into play? It was in his shopping cart that he pushes around. Right. So he went and got it and 
swung it at the lady and then miraculously said that she had a samurai sword, which she didn't have. All right, guys, we'll see you later. All right, wonderful. I get to uh, inventory a bunch of rocks that uh, the gentleman thinks very valuable. So I'll be here for the next probably five to 10 minutes describing all these rocks. So walk me through what happened again, because I didn't hear all of it. I was trying to throw some, some meat I had gotten from the church. OK. And then she came out there with a giant uh, sword, a long sword, bruh. A sword, you know right. what a sword no, I, I know what you're talking is? about, yeah, like like old ancient time sword. And she, she threatened me to cut my head off. I was scared at that moment. So you're lucky to be alive right now. I damn sure am. All right. Well, come on over here. Let's go sit down and let's just be thankful we're all alive. Right. This is a copy of your property receipt, and they all right? took my cigarette, my four, four no. dollars bag of cigarettes that lady did. No, we, they got it. They got it. Right. All right. All right. Have a seat in the second or third row. All right, Joe. You'll be good. All right. You want to have a good story, huh? One lot. Every time he comes in, he has a good story. <laughs> Sounds like an average day in Sarasota for him. <laughs> After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I love working down and booking. It's what I like to call controlled chaos. I love not knowing what's coming through the door, and it's just one of my favorite places to work. Got a couple of code fives coming in, uh, uh, one male, one female, so we'll see what's going on. Yeah. This guy said he was high on marijuana. His eyes are all glazed over. It's pretty obvious. Um, she um, was pregnant. And on the way down here, she was saying she wanted to kill herself. Doctor? Both going to cooperate? We take you out of the car? I, I can't go that way, homie. Why not? I'm telling you, I got a pot that is red, homie. You've been a Man, come on. Man. Well, I guess he's going to the chair. Okay. You got to do five together. I did. Sorry. Where? Sit down. Sit. Sit down. No, no I don't want to cry. Okay. We don't normally get uh, two code fives arriving at the same time, the same car. Originally thought they might be feeding off one another, but uh, after I talked to the one, I think they were. Uh, they would have came in separately. They would probably both be in the restraint chair. Good guy. Because of what happened when y'all were in that car, you got to be in this chair for 30 minutes at least. I understand, but we don't have no control over that part. So you got at least 30 minutes to stay quiet and try to stay calm. Okay. We can't do anything about that right now, right? So listen to this. Stop crying. Listen to this. Are you ready to listen real quick? OK, so for 30 minutes, stay calm, try to get yourself together. It's upsetting, it's frustrating, but you want to get to a phone, don't you? So 30 minutes is better than two hours, right? All right? I love you, man. I love you. 30 minutes. I love you, man. Look at me. I love you. Apparently, he's her cousin. She called us and said that he had got jumped earlier in the night something about retaliation for some other call that we were out on. We show up and start asking him what's going on. We can tell that he's high. His eyes are real fogged over. He admitted to us that he'd been smoking marijuana. Um, as soon as we start talking to him, he starts yelling at us. He's sitting on the stairs at the time. He balls his fist up, stands up, and starts walking up to my partner like he's going to punch him. So we had to take him down, put him in handcuffs. We walk him around the corner to put him in our car, and then one of the neighbors comes running up to us saying that she was threatening to call somebody to come over and shoot the place up. Um, we ended up finding out that she had a warrant for something fairly minor, but and we didn't have any evidence to actually show that she was going to shoot the place up or anything like that. So we just went ahead and arrested her for a warrant. Got them both in the car, and they both just started losing their minds, screaming and kicking. And 
you know, she started telling us she wanted to kill herself and she's going to have a miscarriage and all this other stuff. Right now, at the moment, the charge is just an, an obstructing a police officer on him and a traffic warrant for her. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Please go. Oh, my God. Okay, look. Okay. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Get down. Come on. Let me explain something to you. Right now, your bench warrant is just traffic. It's just traffic, okay? 12 to 24 hours, you'll be out. But you need to do your part, as I told you before. So far, you're doing good. So it's up to you. If you're going to feed off of this and how he's acting, then I can't help you either. You can't even talk to him. How am I going to talk to him? That's your cousin. You've known him for how long? Yes. You can't talk to him. How do you expect me to talk to him? I've only seen him for, what, five minutes? I can't communicate with him Excuse like that. Excuse me, cousin, can you calm down so she can help you? So, I'll come back, but you do your part, and you got to worry about what's going on with your kids and what you're doing right now, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Cousin, can you, she going to help you. just got to be cool till she come back. She's going to help you. Ain't there nothing wrong, man. They got this dead man on her. I'm going to sit here and shut the up. Yeah, take me on out. You know what you dead, homie? Okay, now turn to the right. Okay, hold on one sec. All right, you're gonna lean forward. Feet forward, ready? Ready? Hold on. All right. Hello. I'm gonna walk towards the wall. See that wall over there? Now you're starting the regular process, okay, like everyone else. We're gonna take you out of the chair. We're gonna put you in belly change. You're gonna be a lot more comfortable. Yeah. All right. But you got to be compliant and follow the instructions. Okay. Since he was arrested in city jurisdiction, the officer is going to have to take him to city instead of county. Since his cousin was arrested on a bench warrant, she gets to stay here. Okay. You're going to go to that fourth row, okay? All the way to the fourth row, pass the red chairs, and have a seat. Man, come on, man. Man, come on. I want to be out, man. I want you. I'm bad. I want to be out. Shaniqua, you're up. Sometimes you got to make those decisions to break family ties and take care of who needs to be taken care of. Yes, ma'am. He's an adult, right? Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes. It's hard. We got to make decisions sometimes, right? OK. OK, there's a copy of your charges, just like I told you. Bench warrant. All right? OK. You're going to go into this next room. You're going to walk through the middle aisle, have a seat on that front row. If you need to get up for anything, you raise your hand. Listen for your name to be called, OK? All right, good luck. Go ahead. Sometimes it's hard. You have to break some family ties. She's got to decide she's going to be loyal to her children or to her cousin. And she's going to have to do what she needs to do to take care of those kids. Code 5 male that just arrived, and one of the sergeants is going to talk to him. Uh, she's going to try to talk him down and see if he'll walk in himself. Well, I don't understand what I did wrong. Okay, I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I'm just telling you what's going to happen from this point forward, OK? OK. My officer's on the other side. I'm going to tell him to open the door and take you out as long as you follow the directions. It's, it's going to go smooth, OK? That's fine. I'm going to get you out of the car. I'll talk to you inside where it's air conditioned, OK? Thank you. OK. He's going to walk. Nine times out of 10, when they come in and they see that first line of defense into the jail, they see officer presence and they see those restraint chairs. They seem to get that um, instant uh, antidote for compliance. I mean, even me, always somebody read me my rights, at least. Yeah, I'm mean, being for. interrogated. Hey, why are you starting, man? Come on, why are you angry? Okay, you'll find out. You'll get your paperwork. I have all the reasons. We don't have idea why you're arrested. Saying it's your fault. Okay, all right. I'm not trying to get Can you tone it down we're, a little we're not bit? The, we're not the arresting I'm officer. Just, I'm, I'm not even oh, sure what your name is. Yeah, just hang tight until we I get know. your paperwork. Just relax, okay? I'm cool, man. Good, thank you. It's the American way, I guess. You have a money card up here. Money card for you. It's a big business for you guys. What kind of business are you talking about, sir? The whole arrest of people for Jack. Go in my home. I've never seen that charge in NRS, man. <laughs> I've never seen that one. What, what, what am I being arrested one? for? Did you, did I think they're rare things. Yeah. Trespassing, jaywalking, bad DV. Today, they call this this little skinny 
go over here. Well, no, he comes no, out no, and he no, arrests no, me. You gotta be respectful, man. Oh, but this guy came to my house and arrested me. No, I ain't do nothing. You know what? That's why we have a judge. He'll figure it out. That's you why may, I have be, a you may be innocent, but we have to do our part. Okay? What, what part is that? You're arresting somebody for no reason? I didn't arrest you. All I'm doing is booking you in jail. I, what, what am I being arrested for? I'm already in jail and okay, handcuffed. I have, I have and nothing nobody to do has with that. told me who I assaulted. I wish somebody would figure out what I'm charged with. Well, come here, sir. I'm in charge of your property. Go right. ahead and sign right here. Get through the process, man. Because know, if you I make know. a lot of noise, it's not off, right. Man. I understand, man. You want to do some push-ups? What do you want to do, man? You know, uh, I mean, come on. Man. I want to file a civil suit against you well, guys. You can do that when you get out. I file a complaint, nothing happens. All right, come on, man. Let's go this way. You can do that when you get out, okay? I got audio. You know what you got to do is get out of jail. That's your main thing, right? Now. That's what we're concentrating on, getting out of jail. Can I speak to you, sir? Go ahead and have a seat, all right? OK, shh. the only reason why you're here is because she has injuries and you don't. OK, she has a cut on her elbow, OK, and some scratches. Bullshit, man. Two weeks ago, I called the police out to the house. They took a written report. They took pictures of my hamper on my face. I also have audio of tonight Okay. And that night, I've talked to my lawyer. My lawyer said, make sure you record everything. She's the type that fly off the handle, okay? Are you married? No. And I'm sitting there feeding my son, and the cops come in my you home. You have a common child? Yes. The cops okay. come in my home while I'm feeding him and harass me, made me put my son down and arrest me in front of him. Okay. For absolutely nothing, man. Somebody, I didn't touch her. Okay, this is what happens on this stuff, okay? When the cops arrive, they can't really play mediator. They have to take somebody to jail. Officer, I understand that. You wanted to know what you're being charged yes. with. So that's why I'm accommodating you. So you're saying you. it's assault? Battery, domestic violence, misdemeanor. Misdemeanor. Battery, I didn't battery. I didn't touch okay, I, well, you're not guilty of anything. So that's why am I sitting here in the Because cross. you have to go through the process and see a judge. A judge has to find you not guilty. You are summons for that. Officer. You have an attorney, right? Yes. In the state of Nevada, there's a 12-hour cooling off period, all right? You have to cool off for 12 hours. And then what, you right. go back and kick her out of my house? That you know, sense. we have to get an eviction notice to do that because she's underneath your roof. She has so rights. I get, a, I get an immediate This is motor order. problems, get okay? Order. There you go. It sounds like you're on the right track, okay? I, I'm doing due diligence with you, man. Shouldn't there be a piece of paper that says, hey, Joseph assaults me with his right hand okay, to my left we, cheek we, or Me or and something? you keep going back and forth, man. I have nothing to do with that. All I'm saying is I'm trying to get you out of jail the quickest, right. okay? I'm trying to save your precious time. You have to make the best of every situation. Okay. This is how you guys protect me? But you're here, so you have to get through it. I understand that. I okay, get it. very good, sir. Thank I you. Come on back out and have a seat, okay? Better luck to you, man. Front row, okay? Your wife is very proud of you. You need to sit down, man. He's had maybe a few drinks, but I think after couple hours he'll calm down and he'll get through the process and get on with whatever action he's gonna take to straighten his life out. I said, that's not the point. People say corrections is a mundane, monotonous job, but really it isn't. It's uh, always something new happening inside the jail. People that might be intoxicated or on drugs, uh, coming off drugs, people that are excited or depressed, you're always dealing with something different. What's your drug of choice? Coke. How, you, how long you been using Coke? About five years. On and off. Five years on and off, huh? Go ahead and have a seat right there. Sir. How long have you been addicted to drugs? Seven years. Seven years. On and off. So what got you started in, into the drugs? No. Myself. You know what I mean? I can't blame a certain individual. I'm, you know, I make my own decisions. Was she using and then got you involved in it? I, I, like I said, I just wanted to be with her. So, you know, I knew my choice I was making was the wrong choice. But 
I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed and I'm embarrassed with my family. Come on up here. We'll have you sign for your property, sir. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like he came in for uh, possession of cocaine, and uh, he'd been sober for two and a half years. So we'll see what his process is from here on out. There's meth. What's this? That's cocaine. This is cocaine. What's this? That's more meth. Okay, that's it. Okay, cool. So what'd you guys bring that guy in for? No license plate. He had uh, a bunch of coke and some meth on him. He's going to be charged with PCS meth and PCS cocaine. How was he acting when he got arrested? Uh, he, was, he was extremely nervous. He was stuttering on his words. His hands were shaking. Uh, as I was talking to him, I noticed there was a bulge in his right sock. I asked him what was in his sock. He, uh, he attempted to conceal what was in his sock even more. Um, I, I called him on it and said, hey, man, what, what is in there? And he said, uh, said nothing. And then he came out with a, with a little baggie of meth and or with a little baggie of cocaine, acted surprised when he handed it to me. And then as I, when I pulled him out of the car, he had a bunch of meth in his sock as well. And then uh, I wasn't sure exactly what it was, so I just asked him what it was, and he told us he had the one bag of cocaine and two bags of meth. Looks like Vincent has some drug problems to deal with. He may be eligible for an OR release, which is a release on his own recognizance, but I'm sure that that'll take a little bit. So he may spend some time with us here in the county jail. So you said you came out to Las Vegas for a woman? Was it her that got you involved, or just the people that you were hanging out with? The people I was hanging out with, basically. My own decision, you know, a bad decision by my part, but it depends on the people you're around. Depends on the people you hang out exactly. with. Exactly. I'm not proud of it. I hope others know about it. You know, it's just not a good thing for you. How many times would you say, a rough estimate, how many times have you been incarcerated? <sighs> incarcerated once, uh, locked up. Bring to jail about four times. Four times? Four, four times, times since you've been to Vegas? Yeah. Four or five times. All for the same thing? Basically. Yeah. No, I don't know what, what I have in front of me. I don't know. <sighs> Truck court, jail, prison. Maybe some better choices in the future. Uh, good luck in the court program. If you end up back on it, things will change. Change the cycle. Yeah. Definitely. And the crowd. <laughs> Vincent, come on, sir. Vincent, come on up here, sir. Give you a copy of your charges. I have you fill this out. This is for your OR paperwork. You fill out from here to here all the information you can. Oh, there's your OR? Yes. You surprised to be getting an OR for yeah. your charges? Definitely surprised. Now I have to post bail. All right, so here's a copy of your charges. You're going to go out here, sit on the left side with the males. Don't talk to the females. Raise your hand if you got to get up for any reason. He's pretty lucky to be receiving a, a release on his own recognizance tonight. Um, I thought myself he'd probably spend a little bit of time with us, but Vincent has a obvious problem with narcotics, and uh, this may be a wake-up call for him. Vegas? Yeah. What'd you get arrested for today? Oh, just I don't know. Some stupid thing. I left my bag like 20 feet away from where I was. <laughs> what brought you out from Ohio? Uh, I'm trying to make it as an artist. What do you do? Paint? Um, Some music? I make, I don't know, I make like, uh, I paint with pen and ink and uh, all kinds of You uh, sell your work on the street, on the strip? I try to do sometimes, but most of the time I'm just like sitting there, like spinning my art out, you know, like kicking it. <laughs> do you make decent money on? Good I actually haven't made anything, man. I've been to, like, been to, like, all the places around here, and I haven't made crap yet. Mm -hmm. I'm so, like, pissed off. It's retarded, dude. Ready? Let's get you out these handcuffs, man. Over here, sir. Stand here, face that way, please. Hey, did you have a shirt when you got arrested? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I took everything off. What did he do that constituted indecent exposure? Someone flagged me down saying that he was behind the right auto part naked. Went back there, he was naked. Like butt naked? Butt naked. What was he doing? Up. He said he was meditating, talking to the universe. Lewis, do you know what you got charged with? Uh, indecent exposure. Indecent exposure. Do you know no, why? I was naked, like, standing there meditating. Why? I don't know. I've never done it before. <laughs> Are there people around? 
No. No, you're just no kind of doing your thing? Yeah. Well, Showing somebody that. saw you because I called. Oh, really? Yeah, so. <laughs> so do me a favor. Keep your clothes on when you're in here, OK? It okay. freaks these guys out a little bit if you get naked. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, I appreciate it. No problem. Go ahead and take a seat in the first row. First row, Louie. All the way here. Anywhere in the front row you want. If I can just keep him to keep his pants on while he's here, it'd be great. You can scoot over if you want. Poor guy. No, he's okay, buddy. I just, we can't have you running around. He's freaking people out. What's your name again? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. You can right. see the resemblance. We can't have you walking around, okay? Right. Makes everybody crazy. As you can see, the uh, response. Mm. Keep your pants on in here, okay? Yeah. I will for sure. Yeah, Thank we frown you. on yeah. we frown on that here. It's a family jail. Seriously. <laughs> Lewis, come here. No doubt, he likes bare football. Are those your shoes? All right, keep your pants up. I, you have to step. Low? Well, yeah, it's, you don't want to show things in here. Really? Stand in that red box. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Look that way, bud. Oh wow, that's a that's a picture. That's nice. Awesome. Kodak right. moment. So you are charged, Lewis. You are charged with indecent exposure. Okay. Right. No doubt. That's what you're charged with. <laughs> they just leave and come back. No. Oh, well, really? you want to reschedule your arrest for a better, yeah, like my, more my appointment. Yeah. But more convenient time, yeah. That would be nice if we could do that, but we can't. Keep your pants up. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously, they're creeping down, and I'm not going to look, so you keep them up. OK, go. Go walk. Hey, and if, if they offer you a shower later, you should take it, OK? Well, hopefully he makes it out here. I'm He's not kinda... sure. He keeps putting his hands in his pants and letting them ride down. And... I'm going to let him have his own row. He did mention he wanted to reschedule his arrest. We'll see what happens. If I hear a bunch of yelling, I'll know it's him. OK. We uh, temporarily house our inmates until they're uh, assigned housing upstairs and or released. So they're uh, given opportunity to make their phone calls and bail out. So they'll spend usually about 24 hours down here. So this is a family jail. We don't curse. Can yeah, we stop cursing? Sorry. Have a seat right here. Have a seat. Um, hold on. Don't push me. I'm not pushing you. Yeah, you are. You're pulling me down. What the hell are you pulling me down for? Come on, sir. You yeah. Take him? Yes, sir. Come on, yeah, don't spray yeah, it. Yeah, I did what? What did I do? I don't know. You just walked yeah, in the door. Yeah, you're exactly it. I ain't done a goddamn gotta, thing. Oh, All they got to do is set my huh? wife hit me in the back. Sir, why and are you all put us? me in here. Why are you yelling at us? Why are you putting me in here? Sir, have a seat. Guess what? what? Sir? My open wife open called you in sir. to me because I beat keep, her up. Keep your hands She's not here. You're a Cowboys fan. Yes, I am. Cool. Been one all my life. Well, so now you're going to tie me up yes, sir. because of my prosthetic leg? No. no, sir, because everybody out there is uh, what you call tied up. What did I do? Turn around, sir. Did I say anything to anybody? Did I say anything to anybody? Did I create anybody's negativity? No, I didn't. They're locking me up for something my wife said to them. I'm a man that shouldn't be in here. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? I'm fine. All right, come on this way. What's that? Which come way is that? Ah, uh, why are we going this way? Because this is the way we go, sir. Line order begins in this room. Good. Guess what? Hey, how y'all doing? Why they got you on? Doing? They got me on because uh, song better than my wife oh, took me in. Y'all got, got something better than that? We're gonna get your blood pressure real quick, OK? Yeah, I'm sure mine's high because I'm pretty pissed off right now. Does that mean I'm on drugs? I didn't cause no crime. No. I have nothing. I don't even have problems of hurting myself. Never had one until y'all came along. Yeah, you smiling mother I say Maurice has got a uh, prosthetic leg. He's drunk and he's belligerent, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to isolate him. Why are you hurting me? Why are you hurting me? No, I don't need to relax. Give me my right. I've been arrested for nothing. 
Let's start walking, guys. Junior's getting the camera. I can't leave him out here with everybody else. He's causing too much of a scene. I did nothing. What's the story with Maurice? Uh, basically, we got called up there for a domestic violence call. Uh, we showed up. Supposedly, he had battered his, his wife while we were there. We spoke to the wife, uh, and the daughter also witnessed the battery. As you saw, he's completely uh, intoxicated. Right. I think as we were driving to jail little by little, he uh, got more and more angry, and then got inside, and he wasn't cooperating at all. Did he tell you what happened to his leg? Uh, I guess he was in the Gulf War, uh, the, the first one, and I think he was an army guy, and that's when he, he lost it during uh, the first war, so that's all he kind of told me about it. But. That's too bad. I say I'll let him sober up a little bit. He's probably a different person. He was sober. completely he was completely fine with us initially. That's pretty much it. Well, thank you. Cool. You bet. All right, Sarge. How's this guy been? Has he been cool? He's just laying there. Maurice. Yeah? Are you okay? Yeah. Can you get up? Got you, brother. Really? Oh, oh, oh. You okay? Yeah. How you feeling, man? You all right? It's all right. Yeah, we'll take his chance. No, all I need to do is get home. I don't, I don't even care. All right. You been here before, Maurice? No, I haven't. Today, you're here for battery domestic violence. I never got in a fight with nobody. I don't do domestic. I'm sorry. I gave my time my, and, 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 and for my country, and then I turn around and get turned on because some uh, kid says something, and then she said it to her mom, and then it goes to her mom, and it goes to me, and I'm like, what the f The longest time the police want to pull some f on me. That's why I'm here today, for my ticket that was an uh, illegal U-turn in 07, 06, lying down on my ear for a ticket that maybe cost $25 to get a warrant after me, put me in jail. But they got to make a deal out of it. But my girlfriend is kind of psycho. Um, you do have a city warrant. That warrant must have been out of, was it City or Henderson or North Las Vegas? Well, whatever. Well, so what do we got to do? You've got a three thousand dollar bail. I'm not bailing out. Okay, then so you'll you'll be here for about a day and a half. That warrant will be taken care of now while you're here, so you won't have to worry about that popping up ever again. Okay. All right. I don't want no more bull. I want it all done. Yeah, we'll get it all taken care of. Right I want now. it all taken care of. Is there anything else I can do for no. you? No. All right, man. Thank you very much, well, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank man. you. All right, Maurice. Thank you. Got a city warrant, yeah, he's got a city warrant. Bad DV, and he's got a warrant in the city he's got to take care of once he gets out of here. Yeah, at least he'll get it all over with. Yeah. He did talk about his uh, involvement in the war and how he acquired his leg injuries. I respect and appreciate what he's done. So the um, least I can do is help him through this process the best I can. come into booking, I don't care what happened with them out in the streets. We start off fresh, and their behavior dictates how their processing is going to go. Hopefully, we can get through quickly, get them back out so they can get on with their lives. Thank you, sir. Here, sit down. Hi. Hiding more stuff? Awesome. Oh, look, you and I got along very well in this I know. I just want to know if you were hiding more stuff. No. OK. You really have to take my hand. I'll pull it up really nice. Oh, well, so it's not no, gonna be snarly. No, to it's cut. all brushed and curly. I don't want to mess that up. OK. Well, it's going to stay up like that. All right, stand up for me, please. Put your hands behind your head. You know what she remembers about me from when I was in here before? About my personality. You're just a charmer. Oh. Did you find anything on her? Found a credit card in one name and prescription pills in another name. On her person? Mm -hmm. That's my, what is that? Shh, don't oh, grab things out of his okay. hands. No, I was stuff? just looking. Your was business is our spread. business now. But look, well, what? look. I'm going to give this to the detectives. OK. They're just trying to get me on anything. And you know, did you know that I was in the in the care, uh, a little boy was in, the, in my care? I was in a house fire. In 2000? No, yesterday. And the mother, she, um, 
went to the hospital and I was caring for the boy. She said that it was okay for me to do it. Why do you think you're here? Well, um, because, uh, the, well, they're trying to get me on obstruction because when they asked me my name, I gave them not the right name. And um, maybe you I need to leave cook. Vegas. Because the men out here are a little bit difficult. And I love to cook. I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're and a winner. I, I know they're going to try to throw the book at me. But you know what? What they don't know is that the district attorney um, is paying me to help them with the case. They don't know that? I told them, but they don't care. Let's go out here. OK, I can't. Third row. And you know what, Janine, 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 look at me. Don't cook for any of these guys in here, okay? All right. And none of the women either. Okay, come see her. She's really nice. Be nice to her back. Just to see her. Oh, she's funny to me, but the thing is that she's not giving her real name. I'm trying to figure out who she is, so I just start going along with the story and telling her that I remember last time she was here, and all of a sudden she's just telling me everything. I don't even know what to call her right now. It's going to end up being Jane Doe. She's just like a pathological liar. Basically, we got called to go check on little Barack. Barack's about two or three years old. His apartment burned down. His mom, after the fire, went to a, I guess, hospital and a mental institution. Once she kind of snapped out of it, she ended up saying, where's my kid? So they, they started up like a missing child investigation. Finally, Jane Doe showed back up at the casino with the little kid. The little kid was all dressed up in new clothes, and she had new clothes on because they lost everything in the fire. She had no ID, but she had this big purse. We didn't have her on a crime yet that we knew of. We weren't sure if she took the kid or not. She had tons of credit card numbers, aliases, and she has warrants all over the country that are probably not extraditable. So after everything, what was she finally charged with? False information to a police officer and obstructing our investigation of the missing kid. OK. All right, great. Janine, Michelle, come on. Whoever you are, come over here. You know I'm talking to you. Again already? Again already. Don't be a drama queen. Come on. I'm not a drama queen. I'm like a drama See that camera right up there, right by the light? That's where you got to look, get your mug shot. Again? I know it gets confusing when you have so many names. When's your birthday? What did my fingerprints come up with? OK, OK, is it? Start with June. You don't even know, because you have so many names and so many birthdays, and you're stealing everybody's identity. I am not. They are mine. June. 18. 60. Oh, that was a good guess. <laughs> I got one right. Go ahead and see on that red chair back there. I'm trying to ask her for her birthday, and she doesn't even know what date to give me, so she's just a mess. I'm actually kind of getting frustrated with her. OK, sign right here. That's saying you came in with zero money. Right here? Yes, please. Do you even know what name you're signing right now? Why are you hesitating? Uh, what name do you want me to sign? Only your own, your real name. Go ahead. Sign. What do you have on there? Oh, my gosh. I am so exhausted with you. Holy moly. This is what terrible. Is what is it? $20,000. And, and it's a felony. But you knew that. For a felon, it, for what? They just made it up. Let's go. Come on. And the social security number they have is wrong, too. All right, so mm -hmm. unlawful use of ID. Uh, Felony? Really? You're so surprised. I am. No more games. I'm too tired. Good, so am I. Go sit uh, down. Nice working with you tonight. Good night. See you when you come back again. Yay. Her whole process was pretty lengthy, but they had detectives here trying to figure out who she was. And I think they came back to like 10 or 12 aliases. She's one of the more uh, fun ones to work with. People are going to come in. Nobody wants to be here. They've been drinking, they've been fighting, they've been taking drugs. You have to have a lot of patience with them. So if you come in cursing at us, want to fight, we are going to probably remove you, put you in a side cell, and you'll be processed, you know, hours later when you can calm down. I'm not guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. I'm absconding. The state of Florida, I went to. I went to Colorado. I was smoking weed and everything. The police stopped me and everything. I was going 95. I was going 95. 
Jose, focus, focus. No, I'm were you focus. in a fight tonight? Cause no, I see... I'm not going to fight. The no, bad are you... police department being nice to me. Were you already in one? Because I see no, like some no, scrapes no, on your face. No, no, no. no. Why, are, no. why are you here? No, I'm just getting away from my boyfriend. Were you at home? Yeah. I smacked him. So maybe domestic violence? No, it's not domestic violence. Well, if you smacked I your smacked boyfriend. I smacked his pussy ass. Don't call him names. You don't got to pitch me. On. Like, I stabbed him. Mother... That's why I was a top queen on the compound. Yeah? In Florida Department of Corrections. Maximum security compound where they have rapists and everything. But I got to deal with those kind of guys. I did three years in, three years out. I pulled the vehicle over and the police, I told them I was absconded from the state of Florida. I call my probation officer. <laughs> so Florida's looking for you because you, yeah. have, you haven't been checking in. I called okay. him. I said, I told my probation officer, I'm having the best time of my life. You know what? The little guy with the blue eye stabbed that mother <laughs> 10 times. Oh, you're making and that they up. And come back to me. No, I'm not making that up. OK. I was the top queen on the compound. All right. I don't know how they pulled me over. Did you run a light? Going... You run a red light or? I think I did. I'm going to go ask my sergeant how long we're going to keep you there, OK? And I'll come back and talk to you, OK? Deal? You playing games. No, I'm not playing. I don't play games. It's one, one way. It's just the way it's not playing. I'm not playing games. You're playing a talking game? Oh, no, I'm you not. I'll talk to you. No. All right, Jose, I will be back, OK? I promise. OK, thank you. So, Sergeant Story, I was just talking to Jose, the, the guy that's mm -hmm. in the chair, and I think I got him a little calmed down. He gets real calm, and then he kind of spikes back up. But I think if we give him time for the alcohol to keep wearing off, he's going to probably become compliant with us. Yeah, we'll keep okay. on evaluating him. And OK. We'll decide. All right, thank you. OK, all right, we're going to get you out. I know you're ready. I got to pay the penalty. All right, Boys, stand up. let's walk him over and do a picture. Can I have you stand in that box? Yes, Let me get a picture of you. Hold on. All right, look up at the light for me. Oh, come on, make it a good picture. Well, not not that good. OK, OK. Just, OK. Oh, that'll work. I don't want you to lose this paper. Oh, this man. is your charge sheet. It's got I'll all your first. Back. No, no, no. This is for you. Oh, Take it. You know, you should be Take scared it. of me. It says aggravated. What it says? I'm not afraid of you, Jose. Look at what it says, Joyner. Fugitive, another state, with warrant, aggravated battery with deadly weapon. I see some better choices in your future. They want future. to prosecute me. All right, let's go here. For that. Let me escort you in here and show yes, you what you got to do. Yes, ma'am. We're going to take you over and get you fingerprinted, OK? Yes, ma'am. Don't get emotional. Be strong. I'm strong. My mom's going to be sad. Were you supposed to be checking in with your parole officer? I called him. I gave him a call. Was one of the stipulations not to leave the state of Florida? Uh, one of the stipulations not to leave the state of Florida. That's correct. I told him. I said, um, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I called him. I said, you know what? I'm not going to waste your time. I said, I'm going to have the best time of my life. And he goes, oh, you want to go back to prison? I said, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. All right, Jose. All right, have a seat. Good luck to you, Jose. Thank you, Mr. Talk Shorter. to you again soon. Yeah, have a great day. All right. Thank you. Remember, be quiet. Yes, ma'am. Hopefully, he'll quiet down. He does so. seem pretty quiet right now. Yeah. So. I think the alcohol might be starting to wear off, so that'll help, Good. too. So. OK, yeah. thank All you. All right. What got you here tonight? Tonight I'm here for warrants for no driver's license, no insurance. And uh, the problem with that being is I was, you know, helping a kid out. They were turned dirty and hungry, so forth. Gave the guy eight bucks. My AO uh, arresting officer walked in, walked out with a soda in his hand, you know. Have a sheet, have a seat, Shane. Busted the, uh, busted the kids for ID. And I was like, oh, you know, well, that's kind of screwed up. You know, not minding my own business, lighting a cigarette and whatnot. And then uh, somebody on the, responding to the call for the kids shows up and runs my tags. And it just so happens that I haven't had, you know, uh, my driver's license or insurance. I have multiple vehicles. I travel a lot, so I didn't necessarily, I wasn't necessarily responsible, if you will. Uh, long story short, uh, they ran my tags. 
knocked on the door, told me to get out of the car, coughed me, stuffed me, no Miranda rights or anything like that. But, well, you're uh, in for warrants. Oh, well, yeah, I know. So it's a done yeah, deal. Technically, I'm. Yeah, but I still have rights. So you can still ride a motorcycle? I still ride a motorcycle, yes. That's the uh, your clutch hand. That is my clutch hand, yes. How do you work the clutch? With my foot. I'm running a foot clutch and a jockey okay. shift on an 80 inch Evo on a hardtail with 40 shot of nitrous. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> in other words, oh, you guys wouldn't be seeing me this evening if I wasn't in my pickup truck. Understood. Leg two up to the knee? Yeah, I'm below the knee, um, 10 inches. I've had the urtal procedure. This is the College Park Silly's foot. It's eight way articulate. If yes. you'll permit me to stand. Oh, absolutely. Let's see what you got. Have you ever seen a man hop on no feet? No, you haven't. Now you have. Man just hopped on no feet. There ain't no foot there. It's all mechanical. I'm, actually, I'm impressed. I mean, okay, actually... well, thanks. I can also run five miles faster than you, and I'm a 0.25 minute angle shooter. Let's not do that in here. No, no, uh, no. But I'll see you at the Bolton Pro Gun Club. Well, like I say, if you're just hearing those warrants, yeah. you should be getting an OR, and I'm going to check okay. up on that. All right, thank um, you so much. Because the faster I can get you out of here, I don't want this it's walking around. And, yeah. yeah, I don't. I mean, and I don't want to be in general population either, because they smell bad. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what happened? Unfortunately, sir, I broke 119 bones and was burned over 90% of my body due to a woman talking on a cell phone and driving. I was uh, in a fatal MVA uh, motor vehicle accident at the intersection of Grand Canyon, eastbound at Aunt Sahara. And uh, while I was proceeding on the, the number one lane, the woman talking and driving made a left in front of me. My bike impacted her at 42 miles an hour. The bike separated from the frame as well as the gas tank. It broke into 614 pieces, to be precise and uh, my gas tank exploded, incinerating the occupant of the vehicle, as well as burning myself. Uh, my, fortunately, my, my loving wife was ejected from the wreck. I locked my elbows and got real stiff so she would be thrown over. She sprained her ankle and then nursed me to hell. Awesome. And I wish I wasn't in lockup Las Vegas because I tell her, I love you, honey. Well, you know? you'll be able to tell her soon. Let's see, if it's just traffic warrants, you won't be here yeah. that long, so. Well, but the, the thing is, is like me being a generally gregarious and jovial cat, I, I usually find myself uh, getting unusually well treated. We have a program here where you can also bail out here, but if, well, you won't even get booked in. Okay. If you're eligible for it, I'm going to talk to Precar right now. All right, if you're you eligible so for that, you'll be out within the hour. Oh, well. I'll come back talk to you in a minute. Thanks a lot, Sarge. Thank you. Shane was very cooperative. It's a security risk to leave him in general population with that uh, metal hook on his hand. So I'm going to have him talk to pretrial and see if uh, he's eligible for an OR. And if so, I'm going to expedite that just for uh, his safety and the safety of staff and other inmates. Code 5 coming in, so I'm going to check it out right now. We're bringing him in for disturbing the peace. He was just outside. Uh, outside his apartment, screaming at people. Let's do it! 911, I called seven times. Come help me. Do you want to go do this? Hey, are you suicidal at all? No, I'm not suicidal. Are you homicidal? No, I'm not homicidal. I called 911 seven times. This guy tried to force his way into my house. Seven times, the security guard. Stand up. Nine times on 911. I'm just telling y'all. OK, step this way. Yeah, you guys, I called 911 seven times. They wouldn't respond to my call. Spread your feet. And they wouldn't do nothing. Spread your feet. Spread your feet, sir. I got a broken foot. I'm just letting y'all know I got a broken foot, homeboy. Walk backwards, sir. Come on back, let's walk back. Hey. Come on back. Seven on times back. I called 911. Nobody helped me. 60 minutes, homie. Nobody helped me. Hey, break my neck, bitch. You think I care? Break my neck. Break it, bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I spit on you? No, I didn't. I don't spit on people, okay? Hey, you're breaking my right ankle. Oh, yeah, you're breaking my right ankle. I told him my right foot was broken. I told him. It looks like uh, Myron's pretty amped up tonight. Obviously been drinking or on some type of drugs, having a bad night. Uh, he's probably going to spend a, at least two hours in that chair. How's that sound, bitch? Seven times they called 911. No response! No response, boom. Yeah. You guys brought uh, Myron in? Yeah. Uh, Give me a little bit more information about what was going on. Someone called in 
to 911. Uh, it got, the call got cut. Someone was yelling. He got there. Security met us at the, at the entrance. Said he was threatening the security guard. Said he was gonna stab him if he came up to his house. Many bystanders were walking by and said, hey, this guy's threatening me. Obviously, he was, yeah, the, he he was, was the issue. He was the issue. OK. What are we going to charge him with tonight? He was uh, obstructing a police officer. Uh, we're trying to do an investigation on him. He kept interrupting. Uh, he's also disturbing the peace. Like, like I said, when we got there, people walking by, he was yelling at him. He's threatening some old ladies, actually, as we're yeah, walking nice. up. So. That sounds like him. OK. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys, thanks. Cool. Hey, no problem. Seven times, and they told me I will be right out. <laughs> what do you think I am, a punk ass bitch? What's your name, sir? Myron. Myron. Myron, you got what you got to do first. This is what you got to do. Is you got to calm down, not yell at me anymore, okay? All right. You got to be quiet. I will be. All right. If you do that, I'll come and actually check out your leg. But you got to right do that for me first. My leg is broken, man. When did it break? Maybe three weeks ago. Three man. weeks ago. It took you three weeks to get an appointment with the doc. Well, I ain't no punk ass bitch. I just you know. OK. Well, what brought you to jail today, sir? The security guy tried to push his way into my house. I called seven oh, times. Why was he trying to get into your house? The guy downstairs got 15 and 16-year-old girls so in So is this house. like a condo thing? And then the other guy came up to my house and tried to and tried to front me. And I said, hey, man, don't front me. And the, and the security guy was right behind him. And he was fronting with the guy downstairs. He's a pedophile. And uh, did you tell the police about that? I did. But did you tell him yelling and screaming, yeah, or did you I tell did. him, like, we're conversating? I was already pissed off. I just, oh, man, I Myron. acted stupid. Here's the thing. Is I acted stupid, then I went to jail. Hey, uh, Myron, this is Myron. Myron? That, that's, there ain't that's, nobody named Myron. That right there is the real Myron. What's this young man's story? He, uh, this young man, in his own words, acting stupid. Well, at least he admitted it. Well, Sounds right to me like, broken, I think that the young man He's learning his lesson slowly but surely. And he's finally now talking. Before, he was just yelling, so I got him I talking. I heard a lot of yelling when I came in here. Yeah, so now I'm going to actually assess your leg, and now that we have a conversation, I can see what I can do about that. You got that? OK. All right, Myron, we're going to take you out of the chair, just as we've been talking. Only cooperative. Excellent. That's what we expect, yeah. sir. You got it. All right. Myron, come talk to me right here for just a second. So uh, I appreciate your cooperation. What did you get so mad about earlier, man? Why did you come into the jail so upset? The security guy was trying to push his way into my house, man. I wasn't having none of it. So that got you upset, and then once Mike's Metro showed yeah, up, he's and been, you... he'd been he'd been trying to he'd been trying his little stuff around the neighborhood. So I just, you know, I ain't having none of it. Okay. You had to stand and up I, for I, yourself, I right? I didn't mean to go off on you guys. It, 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 it all just kind of kind of uh, 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 snowballed. Once the ball got rolling, then the ball's rolling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I hear you. And I was pissed. And then once I was right. pissed, y'all put me in the chair, and then the, the chair straightened me all up. Good. <laughs> so it did its job, right? Man, get me out of that scene. All right. All right, Myron, I'll be back in just a few minutes, all right? All right, brother. Appreciate y'all. You know, it's amazing to me every time we end up putting somebody like that comes in real excited and uh, very hopped up and on their adrenaline and everything else and the alcohol. Uh, our lovely restraint chair did his job, was able to uh, settle the guy down, and uh, we were able to get him out without having to additionally fight him or anything else, which is very nice. going out and making money. So how so is I would that? get in trouble, and I still got in trouble. For sleeping on the grass. Yeah. So that would be, therefore, like, a, maybe a trespass? OK. I have old warrants. Old warrants. So I'm sure they weren't aware of the fact that because you didn't do some special favors for people is why you were sleeping on the grass. Right. Just relax. OK, step on out here. There's a chair with a number three on it. You're going to have a seat right there until medical calls you up. What was her first name? Melissa? Melissa. Okay. 
Okay, so what did we bring Melissa in for today? Oh, we got a call this morning at the budget suites that she was sleeping in the grass. She's not a resident there, so they wanted her to move it along. And when we showed up, she was still kind of in an anxious state. We found out that she had some outstanding warrants and brought her down here for the same. Okay. Go ahead and stand right here, face that way. So you're back with us. Go ahead and separate your feet. How many times have you been here? 45 times. Why do you keep coming in? You miss us? Vegas just like me. Hand across your chest for me. How old are you now? I'm 29. How did you come in contact with the police today? I had a concealed weapon on me, a knife. And what was that for? Whoever needs it. I was leaving the Palms Casino, the security guard from the Palms. He would ask me for my ID, and he was, like, being crazy. And then one of the guys called me dumb and stupid. Security? The security. You stupid-ass bitch, you okay. hoe. And he goes to try to, like, grab me, and, like, I yanked back. When I yanked back, I already had my hand in my purse. So you were trying for the night. You can't stab security. Yes, I can. I can stab who I want to stab. Well, I'm glad you're here just on having the knife and not actually stabbing so, like, someone. Right. Do you have your Because if I was in jail for stabbing someone, I would look around and smile, worse. like, <laughs> he deserved it. You're going to have a seat in the third row next to that young lady right there. Melissa, what are you going to do when you get out? I just got out of jail. No. I get out and get out. What makes you go back out and do it again? I'm an idiot. I have no If I knew I wouldn't do it. How old are you? I'm a dope fiend. 28. You're 28? What? Yeah. Excuse dope me. Real. I'm 28. I, I think, lost my chance. I think you were talking. You had some advice for her, didn't you? I'm 29. OK. I know. Not dope. I know. I know it's a year dope, older but, than you. But I can get lectured, and I can do jail time. I can do all that. For, and I'm not going to I was 21. I lost my mom for crack cocaine, you know, but she, the brain, she had a brain aneurysm, and it triggered her brain aneurysm to crack. She had her last hit, and she died in front of my sisters. Dropped dead right there on her last hit. Honey, I understand exactly where you're coming from. A lot of people go through things, you know what I'm saying? But you can't let the drugs take you. I'm going to get out. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slam the open run them up. Do you want to change? No, nah, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not bull****. No, no, no. It's cool. I understand that. So, like, Do you have children, Melissa? I have three. You have three? They don't live with you? I lost custody of them, and ever since then, I've been slamming dope. Is that you, no I chance know. of getting them I back? See him, I see my visits. I maintain composure, but I can't have them back, so really, I've never heard of them. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't that reason enough to quit doing drugs? Well, I quit now. I already lost them. You have to always be strong. And I'm an idiot. idiot. The drugs All right, help. You're not Melissa, idiot. we're going to call you up for your booking photo now. You can bring that with you. Okay? I'm not an idiot. You're going to go straight through here? Make it right, just past the front row. So have you learned anything from your newfound friend there? I don't know. I have abused myself, like self-destruction. Look at me now. 28 years old. 28 years old and I'm a wreck. And I can't stay away from it, no matter how hard I try. You're still alive. There's still time to turn things around. Same rules apply out here. You're gonna raise your hand if you need the restrooms or the phones. Mm -hmm. There's an area to the right with a red line. Don't cross that, because that's the officer's area, okay? And you'll get in trouble. See, this section over here is the male section. Don't talk to the boys. Have a seat in one of the first two rows. She fell asleep in the grass because she was high, but she was trespassing. Hopefully she can, she can kick that habit and get healthy. She does have children, so it would be great to see. Robin, come on in. So, just so you know, I think you made a, an impression on Melissa, your friend that you met out here. I think you made an impression on her life a little bit. How does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel good to know that I can um, give some, make somebody feel better. And you came to jail for one thing, and maybe you... God got me here for a reason. Maybe you helped somebody while you were somebody. here. What do you think? I had to speak to somebody. Somebody needs to hear me, so it took for me to come here for them to hear me. They're not listening to me outside. <laughs> All right, come on out here. Carrying a switchblade. Carrying a switchblade. Ready to cut somebody. I think uh, your friend Melissa is still here, so you can have a seat up there. And uh, we'll see you later for today. Maybe we'll see you back in a little while. Okay. You're going to see me back where? Yeah. That's where you're not going to see me. Robin met Melissa out front. They're going to have a few more hours out here together, and maybe she can help her out. Sit down. Sit. 
We'll let you know when I have a seat, sir. So I've been, I've been charging yeah, up here. What have I been charging for? I don't know yet, man. Hey, exactly. So why the f***ing wants to go to jail for f***ing something I've never done wrong? Turn to face this way. What do I have to go to jail for something I've never done? What have I done wrong? I'll let you know when I find out, you'll well, know, okay? What? So what do I get? Why do they treat like this? Everybody gets treated like this, sir. So you got into a fight with your brother? No, we wrestled. Yeah, but you're bleeding Listen, from your so mouth. Listen, so you got into a fight yeah. with your brother? No, we wrestled, and we just wrestled, hit the wall. Well, somebody thought you were fighting. That's my brother there. Ronald, you my brother? <laughs> we were wrestling all the way. Come on, we wrestling. Well, somebody wrestling. thought you were fighting, man. That's what happened. Uh, so now, unfortunately, you got to go through the court system now, man. What? I'm just telling you. They went through the court system. That's probably why I brought you in, because you guys were wrestling. And we call it fighting. I want to bring you straight to embassy right now. Come on up here, sir. We'll have hey, a seat in the second row, first seat, man. Come sit by that, too. Right there. Come here, sir. Come here. Have a seat, bud. Yeah, right there, please. So where you from, man? Australia? Yeah. So why'd you, why'd they bring you in tonight? Me and brother having a bit of a footy game in the hallway. Back with each other. Hit that wall, hit that wall. That was it. You guys just playing around? Yeah. We did it all the time, every day of the week. Yeah, uh -huh. Somebody thought you were fighting we them. We didn't know it was different over here. You can't be in a hotel fighting in the hallway. Back home, that's, that's normal. We didn't know it was different. Sorry. Just chilling out fun. That's what we thought anyways. How'd you bust your lip up? Your lip's like it twice the size of the other one. We're tackling. They were playing rugby we're in the playing hallway. rugby in the hallway. Footy. Just you two were playing? Two-man yeah. team? One on one. Oh, one -on -one. all right. Hey, all right, stand up. Y'all yeah, just blowing off some steam, having a little fun? Just tackling. Did you have something to drink tonight? Yeah, had a few. Had a few? Both of you guys? Yeah. How many did you have? Everyone in Vegas does have a few, doesn't they? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, cool. You're going to go in this room, have a seat in the second row, first seats. Second row, first seat. So what's going on with those guys, man? I guess there was a maid cleaning, and there she heard a scuffle, and she rounded the corner, and these two were uh, fighting in the hallway or wrestling, as she described it. Okay. They claimed they were playing rugby, but the injuries are not consistent with playing a sport. It's obviously a fight, so. Yeah. Ronald, come back here, please. They said that uh, they fight a lot at home. They do live together as well. They call them tiffs. They have tiffs all the time with each other. <laughs> Over here, man. Put your right thumb right in the middle of the red light, man. You're saying why you're here though, in jail, right? Yeah, wrestling. Yeah, you can't fight with your brother, man. I know, I know you guys do it all the time. Wait, sorry. It's okay. You don't have to apologize to me. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah, but we do, because you're the one that had to come there and, uh, and, and make, look after your It's part of our job. Yeah. You understand that, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, cool. Go ahead and have a seat where you were then. You good? Brian! Brian! Come back here, please. Brian, I'm see you right now. Brian, you understand why you're in jail? No, I don't. Here's the deal, man. In Nevada, if there's a domestic violence and there's a battery, we have to make an arrest per state law, okay? You and your brother got in a fight. You can bail out in the morning. But we gotta get the fight. You should have thought about that before you got in a fight with your brother, you know? There's a fight. There's a wrestle, bro. Okay, wrestle with your brother. Your actions have consequences. Okay? You guys are wrestling, man. Somebody thought you guys were fighting. That's why they called us. So how do I clear my name? Uh, you got to go through the courts for that. It's just a misdemeanor, not a major charge. But we, we haven't done nothing wrong. We're just two brothers having a wrestle. Well, unfortunately, through Nevada state law, you have done something wrong. When can I ring the embassy? Australian embassy. You already explained that to you when you go. Like when you get outside. Yes. Uh, have Thanks, a seat, sir. wait, be patient, and they'll call your name, okay? Yeah, no worries, buddy. Yeah, no problem. I think they'll be all right later. Yeah, they're not bad people. Unfortunately, they got themselves in a bad situation. Alcohol, I think, played a major factor in what happened. Big factor. Just typical of people coming to Vegas. I uh, think this is a big playground. You think they can come here and do anything and get away with it. But now that you mix alcohol, having fun in Vegas, <laughs> you can get arrested. Yeah, they got a memory to uh, take back home with them. They said they were to tell their parents about this, so <laughs> they were excited to show their mom their booking photo. How you doing, man? 
<laughs> good. Good? Yeah, you're smiling. That's a good start. Hey, turn, face you that see, way. You there you go. say walk in the green mile, walk in the green mile. Oh, you're not that far yet. Yeah, Spread your feet out for me, please. Okay. If you need to walk the mile, we'll let you know. But that's a prison thing. <laughs> this is jail. All right. So oh. far, you haven't even been convicted of anything. What's up? Just got off work. I work security at uh, Chateau Nightclub in the Paris. Yeah? You're working security, but you get to drink on duty? Or what's the deal? No, I had a few... Afterwards? Quite a few drinks afterwards and stuff. All right. So what kind of screw do you run? 50 cc? Yep. Under the limit 49 of... 49 cc, I think, technically. 49? You know, considered, but... So what did you hit? Car. Oh, you hit another car? Yes, sir. Was this part of today's wreck? No, um, on Monday when it was Monday raining out, I was stopping at a stop sign, skidding out of my moped, and just cut my hand open. Did you crash right twice in the same week? Yeah, you're, you're not real good on that, man. I got to. Hey, I, 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 I didn't have a drink in me that time, though. You so. are drinking? No. Nope. Right, turn around and have a seat right there. Yes, sir. Did you go to the hospital for that wrist? No. I, was, I mean, I got a big cut, and it's just in a weird spot, so I just figured I'd put some gauze on it and wrap it up. So let the nurse know about any injuries you have, okay? Yeah. This guy got friendliest officer of the year this year, so you couldn't get in better hands. They can do a breathalyzer on you. Right there in the right chair, the chair of honor. The other driver said he pulled you out from underneath the car. Did you actually slide under? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I can't remember. You can't remember that? What was the situation when you arrived? Oh, we got dispatched to a uh, traffic accident. This gentleman was driving his small motorcycle uh, wrong way, going northbound on southbound lanes. Uh, the other driver actually seen him coming and stopped, uh, and then he drove right in and hit the front of his car. It was a head-on collision. Uh, he actually went underneath the car, so he's lucky the other driver stopped or he would have been seriously injured. So did you just nosedive right smack into the front of the vehicle? I guess so. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't remember. So really? Okay. Did you have your helmet on at the time? Yes. So you had a helmet. That's probably yeah. good news. Go ahead and stand up. Deep breath. Blow. I need a tone. Can't fake it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Blow. 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 Yeah. Have a seat. Can I take him over to medical? Good yeah, for a minute. Just explain this to him real okay. quick. Okay. Go ahead. So the legal limit in the state of Nevada is 0 .080 on call level. You blew 0.129. So you're well over the legal limit. All right, thank you, sir. All right, come on. Go straight on through. He's got a wrist injury from an accident he had earlier this week. It needs to be checked. It's just a little cut. It's just in a weird spot. I got blisters bigger than that. Are you kidding me? I expect a big war wound, you know. Yeah, I just wrapped it like that. Just needing stitches, but you toughed it out, glued it up, put a little Rambo stitch in there. Yeah, I cut off the top of my thumb once and never got stitches. I used to be a butcher, so. A little fresh air would probably do some good. He's all done? All right. All right. Come on over. Yes, sir. You have a seat in the first row. If you need anything, just raise your hand and ask. He's very fortunate the car stopped and didn't hit him with uh, even greater impact or he might not be here right now. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be a